here for about two weeks we're here for some business and also leisure I guess like just get away from SoCal for a little bit so right now I need to run some errands I need to go to Target get some lash shampoo and also like a water kettle because I've been really into drinking tea lately and I don't have a kettle here and, and I literally just been microwaving my water and I feel like I don't know I just don't like microwaved stuff that much so i'm trying to see if i can buy a semi-decent affordable kettle at target and i also need to go to a meal prep place to get some food for the week we've been eating so poorly lately literally like fast food pizza sweet stuff it's really hard to stick with healthy healthy habits when you're just so busy I did end up finding a kettle, but it sucked. I tried so many different ways to clean it, but I just couldn't get rid of this chemical-y taste after boiling the water. I guess you get what you pay for. my highlighter at home and i had no time to go to sephora so i'm trying these drugstore brands that highlighter is actually so good i recommend my friend inspired me to start waxing because i've been getting these crazy ingrowns on my thighs sorry tmi but it's like bad bad now i don't know how good this brand is but the aesthetics got me so let's give it a try also a fanatic when it comes to these smoothie applesauce-ish pouches as snacks. It's a great way to fulfill occasional sugar cravings while still being relatively healthy. Feel free to disagree, but I don't know why I'm so obsessed with shoes. I freaking love all types. Sandals, slides, heels, boots, stilettos, whatever, like you name it. But I am on a mission today to find some slides for the summer as I'm a bit bored of the slides I have now. I don't have a specific pair in mind right now, so we're just gonna see what's cute. There's like little like decor. Hmm, I don't know how I feel about these. It's not like it's bad, but it's like kind of old-fashioned. I love those denim ones, like all eyes on you, girl. I have those. That's so cute. I'm not a big sneakerhead, but these are cute. The white does scare me, though. I really like this. This looks like Versace. So weird. I love this. It's really dirty. Yeah. I wanted like something like this, but I feel like. And it's gonna get dirty again. Yeah, dirty, right? dirty, like, so I was like, I don't think I want. It's so pretty. So pretty. <laughs>
Cute. The thing is, if you go through the first one, you might have to wait. The other one called again? Which one? The other half up? Lao Zhao. No, Lao Mato. Yay! And then, sorry, your contact phone. Thank you. Currently at the gym right now. Don't ask me why I have makeup on because I was like filming something, but okay, so today's agenda is we're gonna do 20 minute cardio, 20 minute fast walking, and then five minute abs and five minute ass. So yeah, let's go. Yeah. Reach up, explode, up. Yeah, explode. Boom. What's explode? Don't want you to go down. You want to explode up. Yeah, there you go. I just got dressed and we're gonna go eat our Valentine's Day dinner. Like a couple weeks ago, I only had like two lashes on each of my eye and I just even I haven't even washed my hair in like five days. So I told my boyfriend, I was like, you know what? Let's sit, like I volunteer to sit out on Valentine's Day dinner this year because no amount of dressing up or makeup can just can fix the fact how bummy I was. So today I finally dressed up. How do I look? <laughs> and I guess we're just gonna go make up for our Valentine's Day dinner. Um, I think we're having omakase, which I'm super excited about. And I will definitely take you guys along with me. So I just woke up from a nap and quickly ate dinner, which is why I look a little bit bummy right now. But um, right now I'm just trying to get ready for a event that is hosted by the Dom Perignon Champagne. And let's just quickly get ready together. So I'm just gonna quickly do my foundation. Anyway, okay, so I'll quickly do my foundation.
So I just got done with my makeup and I've been doing my makeup like this a lot recently like without the top eyeshadow. Um, I don't know, I just feel like it makes like the my entire makeup look way cleaner and like the fact that like my lash extensions are already pretty freaking dramatic, I just didn't feel like there's a need for me to do like a smoky eyeshadow like anyway and instead I just put like some eyeshadow on like the bottom of my eyes and also some mascara so it kind of makes your eye pop a little bit more. I've been actually really digging this look to some people it might still be kind of like heavy makeup but but to me like I feel like it's the perfect amount um, I can definitely go a bit like even like less but I don't know I just think this is like a good glam look for like for my face but okay so I'm kind of on a time crunch so I will go figure out what I'm gonna dress and I'll talk to you guys later bye you know how like at the clubs like when they bring out like the Dom P champagnes it's always lit in the bright green color and I actually had the perfect neon green dress that I bought from Opali that I could have worn to this event but literally this was so last minute we had, I didn't know that we had this event going on so I forgot to bring that dress to Vegas um but it's whatever it's, it's not a big deal but I picked out this dress over here also from Opali I know it's really wrinkly I'm gonna try to iron it out it's kind of like an like an orangey red color which which I think will work it's pretty cute so yeah I'm just gonna go ahead and get dressed now but I know what if you wanna have a good time no more playing around but now's the time to cross the line show me what's inside that soul I'll let you feel mine come on let's set our mind and bodies into time literally walked in and found the room like this what is going on anyway let's walk around the villa a little as i show y'all around i am so obsessed with this in-room gym with some decent equipment within the gym there is also a sauna and a massage room there are two identical bedrooms on each side of the villa. It features two full bathrooms and they are literally my dream. It has a similar vibe as the Wind and Encore Tower Suites, except there's more teal and blue colors here. I like the gold theme a little bit more at Wynn, but the renovated Bellagio Suites are extremely nice as well. There's also a barber room, which I found super interesting and a formal dining room with a butler's kitchen in the back. I don't know what to do with that. <laughs> we need some awkward. See, we, 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 that's what you told me. First off, everyone's on the audio. Yeah. yeah. Everybody's giving you a song. I get like dizzy. Oh. oh.